Everyone, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. Hope you're having a good day. This is the last day of 30 Days of Sketches. How fun has it been? It's been a blast and I am so honored that you have hung out with me. You could have chose to hang out with anyone else and I am very, very honored that you chose to hang out with me. And if it's your first time watching my video, buckle up. <laughs> We have some fun around here and I am glad you're here. I hope that you will go back and watch the other videos. I really do. All right. So last day, before I get started, I want to send a huge, huge shout out to everyone that created sketches. They are unique sketches just for series 14 by our fellow crafters. And I want to thank them for sharing their talents. I want to thank Christy for everything she did to compile all the sketches and make the playlist and make everything possible. She's done it 14 times now and I can't wait for number 15. Truly, truly appreciate you, Christy. All right. So you can go to the Facebook group, you can go get the sketches and you can click that one link to see everyone do the sketch in different ways. So definitely do that. Um, it's all in the description. I hope you have had fun and let's have fun today because I am stepping outside my comfort zone. Today is by Holly Fiercely. I'll put the sketch up here and I see paint brushing strokes, some mixed media. It's going to lead me to that. And then we basically have two grids and some beautiful embellishments. So I was inspired to use my stencil and some stickles. And we're gonna do some mixed media too. Now this is just the gold star stickle. You look inside there, you can see some little stars. You can get it anywhere. You can get it on scrapbook.com, scrapbook generations, wherever you wanna find stickles, you can get that. And <clears throat> so then what I did is I took my stencil and a Dollar Tree paint brush, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna throw this away when I'm done. Now I will wash my stencil and it will come off. I was assured by a crafty friend it'll come off. Um, you could probably wash it out of this too, but it's a Dollar Tree pack of paint brushes. I really don't care. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I did it. I, I don't know, it just came to my brain to try it. Why not? We gotta try everything once, right? So I'm just gonna lay it down I do want to kind of try to do it in about the same area, just like so. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. It's mixed media, okay? So we're gonna set that one aside. And all I did, because all this really is, is glitter and glue. That's really all this is, right? Then I just held it down and I very generously, and when I say generously, this is a brand new bottle and look how much I've already used. But that's how I'm gonna get the shape of the stars and get those little speck stars in there. So, and I just went over the whole thing, okay? It's kinda, it's, it's not the most pleasant texture, I'm not gonna lie, it really isn't. But it's fun to play, truly fun to play. It's truly fun. Now this is a simple, is it a Cardo? It's a Cartabella stencil. That I've had in my stash forever and a day. Again, be very liberal. If you're not really generous with this, it's not you're not gonna get the star shape. You just won't. You'll get a little specks of glitter and the star shape won't come out. Okay, I think I'm gonna go a little further in just in case. I'd rather have too much on here than not enough. Okay, we'll just keep going. I think my photos will cover it up by then. Again, very, very generous. What are we gonna do with it? I mean, what's the worst that's gonna happen? I'm gonna need to buy another one. Okay, it's gonna kinda clean my brush. I am gonna set it aside for now just in case I need to do it some more. But when I'm done, I'll throw it away. Then you just pick this up. Look, oh, how fun is that? All right, so let me set this aside. I'll wipe that down, wash it off. Okay, so here is, we're creating a base. That's what we're doing. So if you watch me, I don't think I made this page kit. I think I did this off on my own, but um, this is just textured cardstock that we have there. So now what I need to do is I want some mixed media. So I'm gonna take some Distress Spray, the white from Tim Holtz, and I'm gonna have to make a new scrap of paper because that one's got glitter all over it. Hold on, okay. So I know I wanna do over here in this corner. So I'm gonna set that piece of paper there and I'm gonna do white. I'm choosing white because I have such a dark background. I could do black, but I don't think it would show up enough. 
Now I know for a fact that this white, it is very thin. So I wanna be really careful when I open it. In fact, I think I'm gonna open it over my scrap piece of paper because it has a tendency to drip. Okay, and I'm gonna do some splattering right there. And we're gonna do some more over here, okay? And some down here. And that is my mixed media. So I gotta let it dry. I've gotta create my grid and I'll be back and we'll finish it up. All right, you guys, I got the base done. I've made a grid of photos with a bunch of ephemera piled in the middle. So we pretty much, I did adapt it. Now my, I had way more photos than what she had, um, but that's okay, it's all right. Holly is just meant to inspire us and so we're going to just go with it. Um, eh, I don't, there's, it's a two page layout, it takes a lot of room. All right, so my title here, I've gotten a bunch of ephemera from both my swaps and 49 and Market goodies. And this was from a swap and it was made by Pam Vick. So this is going to be my main title, right? Just like that. And then this is a piece of 49 and Market. Nope, this was made by Lori H. This is not 49 and Market, my bad. I'm gonna put that in that corner. Now she has some beautiful, I don't know if you're meant to paint this. I mean, that's kind of what it reminds me of, but um, where embellishments could be, I think I'm just gonna do here and here. I don't, because my photos take up a lot more room of the paper, because she has these as two by twos. I got mine down to three by just under four, and then I had a couple really big ones, but that's okay. And a four by four, there's no wrong way, right? I definitely was inspired. Then I was thinking, I would use this 49 and Market, this really is 49 and Market, and I would tuck it under here, just like so, and maybe even bring it down. This is where I'm gonna do some trial and error at its finest, we'll see if it works. Then I had these little bits of, of ephemera left from 49 and Market. I really like the yellow popping out, so I think I'm going to put that under here. We'll see what happens. Just like that, give it a little more interest. We're just doing layers. That's all clusters are, layer upon layer. Okay, can't mess it up. And I do the trial and error so that I don't have to worry about it once I have it set. And even then sometimes it doesn't work out, but that's okay. Um, it did go all the way. So since I have this one all the way to the middle, I'm gonna put that one to the middle. Let's see, what else? I did pull out this ticket because I feel like it mimics this color and it says memories in the making. This is made by my friend Kimberly over on Ginger's Corner. Look, I've got a swap goodie, a swap goodie, a swap goodie, all on Ginger's Corner. <laughs> they, they are making this layout happen. Love the tickets. Then I have this from a swap and this was made by Captain Linda Jean. And I think I'm going to tuck this in here. Now, here's where my problem is. And I know it's a problem. This is not the right color, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna color it. I'm gonna use my markers, and even if I color it straight black, that will be fine. That's what I'm gonna do. So you'll see that when I come back with a finished layout, because you guys know I slip away. Um, then I got these from my scrappy pal, Jeanette. At Christmas time, she sent me some little advent envelopes, and these are so cute. They're very anime, and so I think I'm going to try knock on wood. I'm really gonna try to do like a little cluster up with them. Now I will, these are, they are stickers. I've had them before. Jill loves anime. If you watched in the photos, you saw they did like a Pictionary and there was anime all over it. Think what I'll have to do, I'm gonna have to cut this one. So don't be afraid to adapt even your stickers. I think I'm gonna go as far as that, like that. Okay, so there's that. I'll stick them down. You just take the backing off of them. So there's, knock on wood, it's working. All oh, their feet are kinda, their feetsies are kinda, they're walking all over each other. That's all right. We're just gonna, we're gonna pretend, pretend. Okay, then I have some tickets that I thought maybe I could do a little cluster over here and a little one over here. Hmm, I don't know. I'm gonna have to color some of these too. I am, like the green, like I did in a couple layouts. I do like this one. So we could put that one there for sure. And I really do want this one, but I feel like it should be green. I mean, I just, I don't know. 
The white's not bad though. Maybe if I ink them, here's what I'm gonna do. When I step away to put this layout all the way together, this goes this way. It looks upside down. I will ink them and maybe I'll ink these in green. Okay, I definitely am gonna ink this this piece. It makes a difference when you ink, I'm, I'm telling you. I know I do it a lot. I know I'm like a broken record over here, but I really think it makes a difference. So there, there's that one. And then I have these little stamps, but we can pretend they're tickets. Why not? It's my page. Um, best new star, but we're just gonna use it for the ticket. Hmm, that's not really working. If you guys didn't notice, I have a different shirt on. Hmm, that's not working. And, um, yeah, because it took me, I got sidetracked yesterday. <laughs> Come back. I got sidetracked waiting for the mixed media drive. That's all right. That's okay. Mm, that isn't working either. What if I were to put it like this and go like that? I mean, I'm running out of, these are all 49 market again, running out of tickets like so. <gasps> Okay, I have to marinate on that one. I'm, I'm not sure that one's working for me. I'm really not. Best new start of 2023. No, because it was the end of 2023. That won't work. No, no, no. All right, let's try to put some stars. Still marinating on that. We might move it around. Um, I think I want some big stars because remember we used the star stencils. So I'm just gonna take these. Some of them I got from Timu. Some of I got other places. Who knows? Mm, that one's good. We could use a bunch of these little ones here. I'm just grabbing them out of here. Sorry, I forget y'all can't see over here. Why not? Okay, there. Maybe one there. Use them like enamel dots, right? One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, that makes my eyes happy. Mm, maybe we can try to get a total of three over here. Uh, I don't know. Can we get a couple more? I mean, we can do whatever we want, right? Go more this way and tuck that under there. Ooh, the possibilities. Maybe. And then maybe put one over here. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so definitely one there, one there. Maybe I can find another big one. Should I put one there? Mm, I should, and I should move this one to over here like so, and not that one. Let's get a small one. I love these tiny little ones I got on Timu. If you just look up wood veneer, star wood veneer on Timu, all kinds of stuff comes up. It's lovely. Ooh, like that. Okay, that's it. Whole kit and caboodle. Then when I go to do journaling, I will put a journaling thing right here and probably put, add a couple more stars. So, should I put something to represent that now? Hmm, maybe. Let's see if I have a scrap. Let's see, let's see. Little scraps. Oh, I see one. That might work. Here we go. That's too wide. Oh, look, that's perfect. Ask and ye shall receive. So I will ink that, leave it for journaling, but now I can put some stars around it, right? So let's just do one. We'll do three. So let's get a couple small ones. Two. Oh, no, wrong size. Wrong, wrong ones. Those are MKs. There. And then maybe we can go right there. Yeah, I might play with them a little bit. I like that. Okay, there we go. Done and done. Yay, we did it. Okay, so let me go glue it all down. I'll be right back and we'll chit chat about whatever I do different. I don't really see myself doing anything other than inking and gluing things down, but you never know with me. Hang in there. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I got it all glued down. I inked everything. I inked the tickets. You, I'll put close-ups at the end. You guys, thanks for hanging out with me for the last 30 days. It's been so fun. And I can't wait till next time. I really can't. I hope you have a very blessed day. As far as content for me, I got lots of fun stuff coming. So I hope you will join me for that. Come and swap with us on the Facebook group, Ginger's Corner. And with that, I hope that you are very, very blessed. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.